You can dream anything. You can be anything. Together, we can achieve anything. There are many challenges ahead of us. Difficult, but not impossible. Challenging, but achievable. We can lift our citizens from an independency to an independence, from poverty to prosperity. We need to embrace our diversity as a source of strength, and at the same time, acknowledge that we are all Gambians. We need to cultivate the common culture and support each other. As a citizen of the Gambia myself, I have never lost my compassion, my constant concern for our children, our struggling workers, our forgotten communities. I want our youth to grow to achieve great things. I want our poor to have the chance to rise. Good people give light to others. Let us all be a source of light for others. In conclusion, to the graduating class 2019 of IIAT, let me share with you a word of wisdom based on my personal experience and my observation. You will find success and happiness if you only have one goal, and that is this, to fulfill the highest and most truthful expression of yourself as a human being. You want to maximize your humility by using the energy to lift yourself up, your family, and the people surrounding you. There is a common denominator of, in our human experience that we all want to be validated, we all want to be acknowledged, and we all want to be appreciated. Graduating students, as you depart from this ceremony and prepare for your new career, believe in yourself, set your goals and have a dream. Seek friends and families that will support your effort. Do not let anything distract you. If you have at a flat tire called jobs, but if you have a spare tire called determination and an engine called perseverance and an insurance called faith, you will make it to success. Thank you. And that is why we must not accept that knowledge is owned by anybody in the world. Knowledge is the property of humankind and we have a right to acquire it, we have a right to develop it, and we cannot develop it, but we will take charge of it to be the architect of our own destiny. Thank you. Thank you. in the productive sectors and the government. That is why I was taking this important step to ensure that all ministries and departments and agencies now have specific ICT officers so that uh, there is synergy in what we are doing and there is complete I mean, uh, overhaul of what used to prevail where government departments and institutions will just uh, work in silos without having to look into specific considerations of the needs that uh, you know, have to be in place. So I mean, those processes, those processes have already started, and I want to assure the graduates that uh, my ministry will continue to support initiatives like this. Therefore, I mean, allowing I mean, highly skilled Gambians who have decided to come back to their country to open up these type of institutions to avail young people the opportunity to be ICT experts. I think um, it's a welcome gesture, and then we will continue to support it, we will continue to welcome this type of thing. On that note, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, I encourage you that uh, as you are moving out of uh, your next, as you are moving into your next stage of your career, I also want to encourage you that uh, you take it very seriously what you have learned and uh, to be productive citizens of the Gambia. Thank you.
I speak, sometimes it's very good and it was silent. You know, I thought that whatever I said probably will not be that meaningful. But I'm glad, I mean, I've been given the task of giving up closing the mass. Now you have been trained, you know, to do IT, you have been armed with knowledge, but you want to run before you can walk. Those are supposed to be like observed. So please be patient in anything that you do. You have to use what in the saying that says the road won't not be in the vein. The road to success is not easy. You will fall get up again, but be patient. So please have that engraved in your mind. Second, be tolerant. What I observe these days is to be tolerant to each other. Please avoid being greedy. People are too greedy these days. There's a limit to what they can consume. When we get to a point, we are all fighting to achieve us, we will get to a point where we cannot just stop overachieving. There's a limit to what we can do. So while you are patient, be tolerant, please don't be greedy. Be contented. In other words, I think the order of God is more strong. Third, the diaspora. We must look at the Gambian diaspora. This constituent can do bad act. This is not bad in this country. What we have seen today is that the Gambian language man has partnered with the Indians and has brought this value to the nation. If we encourage and tap into the competence within the diaspora, it will go a long way to our dear border. I would encourage everybody within the position of authority that we need to look at this constituent. Economically, they contribute 30% of our GDP. Human resource capacity is overwhelmed. We must find a way of tapping into this. Under the Tech Africa Foundation, we are launching a new initiative, the Diaspora Initiative, to collect the database of Gambians, competent Gambians who are abroad, to see how they can add value to this country. And they are they're willing to do so. So, Usman, thank you so much. I think it's a lovely thing to do. We must have a lot of people. And to take others to take this decision. That we don't wait for the ball. We all have a role to play in this world on your minds. And when you do it, it's two initiatives like this. We should stop complaining and take responsibility. Drivers, I congratulate you. I congratulate you. I congratulate your, your parents. And well done. As soon as I sent your picture to my cousin, okay. who lives in Orlando, and um, when he said it, he could not believe the resemblance. <laughs> it is uncanny. You look exactly like my. Hi, how are you? How are you getting on? Yeah, good to see you. Congratulations. Is that your mom? It's my last one. Oh, well, congratulations. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel good. What are you going on to do now? I want to go and further my education and see what's next, and then I just pick it up. So you get on to university. Yeah. Congratulations. What are you going to study? Thank you. Thank you. What are you going to study? I'm going to study like computer science. Yeah, that's what I want to study. Fantastic. When yeah. you're finished, don't forget to hook me up. No, no, no worries. No <laughs> yeah. worries. <laughs> and so you've got a phenomenal mum. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank that's you. A, you taught me sign language for the first time. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Nice you. Yeah, exactly. But you're doing phenomenal work. I'd like you to. I'd like to introduce you to okay. um, this wonderful lady here. Her name is Desita, hi, nice and she's flown nice in from you, New York. Miriam. Yeah, hi, Miriam, and um, she's a young educational specialist. That's yeah. what she specialises in, and she's just here for a few weeks on on a vacation, and we're taking her to a few schools. But I would love to connect you two together, especially because yeah. very special school, yeah. and um, it's the first place I learned to sign. She taught me to sign. Yeah, and I didn't even know. And because my hands full of nuts, I can't show you, see? I will have a wonderful time. It's my I've been at this school for 31 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Looking for work to have a good time. But so lovely exchange details and um Yes. Mm -hmm. How has she got her last name? Alan. 
and her father is from Sierra Leone. So I was asking her, is he one of the returnees, one of the ex-slaves? And she said yes. What? Yeah, because her name is Alan. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I was in Sierra Leone. Yeah. I was in Sierra Leone, um, came back last week. Okay. Yeah. And I'm I found my there. family name right. And yeah. Morrison there as well. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That's why you look like my family. So my family must be Sierra Leone. Do you know if they're from Jamaica? Where, where what from? Yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. It was yeah. Jamaica. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of Maroons that went to Nova Scotia <laughs> originates from the Maroons. But that, but yeah. Yeah. And so when they when they deported them and then they went to Sierra Leone, that's how they ended up being stationed in Sierra Leone. But that they were Maroons from Jamaica. Yeah. And those roots from Jamaica originate from Ghana. Yeah, it is the way to know your roots. And that's why the diasporans are coming back. Exactly.